Hello students. Today we are going to study the topic direct and direct speech, which is also known as reported speech. Now uh, here, first of all, you people have to make very clear the concept that what is first person, second person, and third person. First person, you already know it is I, we, related to us only. And second person is you, the person who is in front of you, that is you. Third person is he, she or they. According to these only, our direct and direct speeches will work. And plus tenses change will also occur. Present indefinite means simple present tense. If it has to be converted into indirect speech, will be converted into past indefinite or simple past so be sure if you have got simple present it should be simple past present perfect present perfect will be changed into past perfect i'll be showing you the examples on all these if you people in case are not clear with the tenses present continuous will change into past continuous. Past indefinite means simple past will be converted into past perfect. You will not write as it is. Past continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous. But if you have got past perfect in your sentence, it will be having no change. It will remain as it is. Now, we have to first of all understand the tenses, what are these, then only you will be able to convert. So, let's see what is present indefinite and how it is converted into what is past indefinite. First of all, these two we have to see, then we have to see these, then only we can make the conversions. So, let's see an example of all these tenses. look at the example of present and simple present tense or present indefinite and past indefinite. Here suppose I am writing he is a cricketer. Past tense he was a cricketer. Then comes present Perfect. I have written a letter. Past perfect becomes I had written a letter. That means have becomes had. Present continuous. I am playing. And past continuous. I was playing. Then present perfect continuous. I have been playing. Past perfect continuous. I had been playing. So this means when you will be converting any present tense speech into past tense speech, you have to be careful what is written, which tense of present tense have been used, which form of present tense. Is it a simple present tense? 
Models also have to be converted in direct speech. That means, if suppose we have got a direct speech, I will play. He will be converting it. He said that he would play. Yes, he can teach me math. He could teach me math. So these things have to be kept in mind while converting your direct speech into indirect speech. So what we have discussed, one is to convert one type of sentence into an, uh, one type of tense into another tense. What rules have to be followed? Then we have seen that today has to be converted into that day. Then next day, uh, like tomorrow will be converted into next day. Yesterday will be converted into previous day. Here will be there. Come will be go. And so on. This will be that. Then we have seen these models also can be converted in indirect speech. Now let's see some rules on direct indirect. 
suppose first of all let's start with the features having sales suppose we have got a speech in direct we say i am tired this says means directly he is saying presently uh, he, he is sitting in front of you and he says that i am tired so if you have got says instead of said the tense will never change this is simple present tense will convert it into pa simple past tense uh, sorry you will be converting into simple present tense only but the first person here will be converted into the second person the third person this is your third person so first person given in direct speech will be converted according to the subject the subject here is he so he says i am tired you will say he says he is tired so i which was in the first person in the direct speech will be converted according to the subject so we will say he says he is tired in the first person the verb here is am but when you are converting it into third person to so he is he is right and they are if it would have been plural they they are so this means he is in the tenses remain the same this present tense only but the person will be changed the first person in direct speech will be changed according to the subject the subject is in third person Uh, let's look at this sentence you say i will help i will help you right so i will be converted i is what it is a first person because he is speaking from his mouth so he is speaking in first person but when you are converting it into indirect speech then you will be converting it according to the subject the subject is in second person So you will say you say you will help me. We are considering the you for matter he is telling to me. If you say you will help, then you say I am going. more so you will be converting it into you say i will be converted according to the subject you are going the next day so you say you are going the next day right so i will be converted into that second person because i was when he was speaking directly to his mouth now you are converting it from your own mouth that you said this thing to me if you see you are going the next day the tenses remain the same these are all in simple present tense but according to the person the verbs are changing the like, am has been converted into is because he is third person may be say he is she is he am is not the correct word you can say i will help you you can say you will help me you can say i am going tomorrow you can say you are going the next day because in second person you are right now let's see one more form of see If suppose the he present he does not have any object over here, he is saying to whom. But if suppose we have got some sentences like, so let's look at these sentences. He said to me, I never eat meat. If you write he said to me, it will be wrong because if said has got an object, so he said to me should not be written he told me, as we had done in states. 
then he says to uh, that person that he tells. Similarly, here also instead of said to me, you will be writing, he told me that he never eats. If you have got the subject as well as the object, so instead of writing said, you will be writing told. Ram said to Sham, I am watching TV. Ram told Sham that he was watching TV. Simple present tense, present continuous tense has been converted into past continuous tense. Sita said, I have already cooked. Now Sita said to whom? Not given. In that case, said will remain said. He said, Sita said that she had already cooked. I will be converted according to the subject. Here also I was converted according to the subject. Sita said, That he had already cooked. Have will become had. Present perfect has converted into past perfect. Sita said that she had already cooked. If you write here, Sita told, it will be wrong. Told requires an object. To whom has she cooked? Here there was no object. So you will be writing directly Sita said. He said to Ram, I went to Jaipur last week. Subject is where, object is where, I is according to the subject. Will be converted. This is simple past tense and as I told you a few slides before, a few scenes before, that simple past will be converted into past perfect. So we will be writing he told Ram that he had gone to Jaipur the previous week. I went to Jaipur will be converted into had gone, past perfect. She told Ram that she had gone to Jaipur the previous week. So these things should be clear. This was an example of simple present tense which was converted into simple past tense. We have to also look if it said if you have got an object to whom that person is speaking, it should be converted into told. Uh, Ram said to Shama, I am watching TV. This was present continuous, it was converted into past continuous. Sita said, To whom is she speaking? No information. So, said will remain said. But, have already took this present perfect, which will be converted into past perfect. He had already put. He said to Ram, I went to Jaipur last week. This simple past, which will be converted into past perfect. He told Ram that she had gone to Jaipur the previous week. Last week will be converted into previous week. Now there are some sentences in which now uh, first of all let's look at these sentences which contain universal truth. Like he said the sun sets in the west. This is a universal truth which cannot change. So no verb changing will be there. It will remain as it is. We will say he said that The sun sets in the west. He said man is mortal, you will say he said that man was mortal, name. man is mortal. Because it is a universal truth. Man Amar nahi hai. Okay. So, man is mortal. Man was mortal. Looking at it will be wrong in your example. He said honesty is the best policy. See, he said that 
it's not a good sentence to give you good marks you should be able to uh, make out that please means requested requested me to lend me money he said let's go for a picnic he suggested to go for a picnic he to whom did he say it's not given so we are also not writing he suggested to go for a picnic so this way we have done some uh, exercises we have understood some of the concepts look into the video again and again and try to understand the concept and if you have any queries you can write in the comment box i will give an exercise in the description box so that you people can do it and send it to me in the comment box and if you have any queries you can ask me we'll come with the next video on questions type the question type of direct speech to be converted into indirect thank you and if you have understood the concept press like button